Thanks for coming. I'm Jeff Prestes. I'm developer advocate for Braintree and PayPal. Uh, interesting because the oh, the last uh, presenter was a soccer referee. Looks like he had a, a soccer. Locker, soccer, right? Oh, that's great because I'm Brazilian. So let's do it. We need to. We need to talk about something that I don't understand here in the States, why people say football, but they don't use the V. It's something that I really don't understand so far. However, no worries. Uh, that's, but okay, I'm Brazilian. So there we, use, we used to play soccer a lot. And, uh, and I'm also, we uh, viewed some good, you know, uh, well, mobile applications and uh, I'm very interested in about beacons and I've been researching about beacons for two years. Uh, so that's, that's the reason of my talk here because I got very excited about Edgestone and also about physical web. And uh, this, there are two topics that we're going to talk today. There, and um, so the idea is I, with this, this new specification, I can give a neural uh, to all objects. That's the main idea uh, of the, you know, the Edstone and the physical app, and uh, that really excites me. So, uh, first of all, what is it? So, what is Edstone? Uh, I don't know for camera, is it man here? I'm good here? Okay. So, what is Edstone? Edstone is uh, a Google specification for Beacon's data, period. As in the past, we had Apple's iBeacon specification. Later, uh, some guys, I'm not quite certain, but if they are all from Google or not, but they created UI Beacons. But later, they work, they improved the specification and they renamed the project for Edstone. So, but what is good for us? It's open. Uh, because in general, Apple general, sometimes creates very good stuff, but they, it's, they are proprietary, right? So, what a good, st good stuff about Edstone, in the beginning, it's open. If you can go to the, their GitHub website and read the specification, you know, create your own implementation and no royalties, you don't need to pay in to any royalties to anybody, okay? So, and uh, what, what compose Edstone? It has, uh, the Edstone specification has three items. TOM for telemetry, you basically uh, could, uh, you check, okay, is my beacon working? Okay, I, because, and, and those, uh, following this specification, your beacon device, times to times, keeps sending information. Oh, I broadcast the information uh, 200 times since I was activated. For instance, is one information that you can send using the telemetry, uh, the telemetry format. Also, you can use the UID. This is the ba most basic uh, beacon functionality. Is their the device ID. That's the way, okay, I'm getting close to the beacon uh, with ID is 11, for instance. Of course, the format is, uh, is a little more, as, is more elaborate, but it's basically, what is it? So, oh, I mean, what I'm close, I'm close to this device, this beacon device, or that, another one beacon device. So, if you're just interested in, about proximity, if you are close or not close to some, uh, to some beacon device, Edstone UID fit, uh, fits, uh, solves your problem. But what more is the most interesting, and the, for me, what's make the Edstone much different of uh, iBeacon is the URL. So uh, using the Edstone URL, uh, okay, uh, using your Edstone URL, you could broadcast, uh, you could assign a new URL for a device, or item, or anything, okay? 
So the reason you should use it is because first, it's open source, it's an open specification, you can create your own, and it's unlimited. Because you can, you know, uh, as URL stands for unif unif uh, Unified Resource Location, it's universal and also is unlimited. You can create in as much as URL you, you want. And you can give uh, URL for every device, for anything. So that's the reason I, I recommend that you should use it. And the Edstone URL, is try, you try to, to look for it and try to stu study. That's the why we are here for this presentation. And this is the Edstone URL specification. So first, and, and uh, you have like, here as a byte offset. Oh, I forget a very important uh, disclaimer. I'm not uh, electron, uh, electric or electronic engineer. So I'm, the, uh, I'm a mobile developer. So there are some details, electronic details. If I miss, please apologize me. And I ask for support for, elect for any electronic or electric engineers, OK? Uh, because, for instance, here in the tax and the TX power is something that is very tricky. The, the very that everybody complains about beacons. Jeff, I want to to know if I'm very close to some beacon device or not. I want to I want to use beacons to track people among the room, among my office, you know, or my store. That's the the physical problem. Okay, you must remember beacon as a radio, it's emitting radio signals, so we have an interf a lot of interferences, so that's a problem. So this is, is going to be a problem if you want very exact, exactly information, so how close you are for something. Uh, beacon may be, maybe not the best device for it, but if you want you know, to know, okay, the beacon is telling me that it's broadcasted the the, his data with this amount of decibels, uh, and I'm receiving here my device in this decibels. Okay, you could infer how close or how far you are, your, the, the, your customer's device is far or close to the beacon device. But guys, Please, I ask you, don't trust 100% on this. You have some limitations here, physical limitations. But here in an Edstone URL specification, in this bit, you define, OK, I'm emitting the, the big signal and this, uh, with this power. So for instance, I have here uh, um, an Estimote beacon. And uh, of course, the most, uh, if I increase the power, uh, my battery goes, uh, you know, the, the last min last minutes. Or if I decrease the the the, the power, the, the 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 battery lasts, you know, uh, lasts more. So uh, after so after this, this is more important. You have a, the URL sch uh, URL schema to save, you know, some bytes. You have some a table of schemas that you can, uh, for for instance, there is a code for HTTPS, there is a code for HTTP and others uh, and others uh, schemas. And now in the, here you have the encoded URL. It supports um, that's the limitation only 17 uh, length. So you need to use an encoded URL. Okay, but if a, a, a bit li and others, uh, you know, and other others um, decoded the your, uh, URLs, you can, you know, easily have a, a lot of URLs available for you. And more details you can get here on the GitHub of, of a project. So uh, the guys that created this say they saw, oh, okay, there are, there is a lot of potential a plantation on this. I can, you know, for commerce, uh, for, you know, uh, to give the product information to, you know, I, it's endless 
situations. For instance, uh, I can uh, I can give for for instance I can the, the our demo our user case for demo is you go to a theater and you have several different movies you know and uh, instead of for instance you look for a paper you know and to see the details about movie why not when you get a close order you get inside of the the theater you open uh, your an open application we have the physical web application by the way uh, it's a open source uh, application it's for free you can uh, your customer could download from app store or from play store for free you can download the code and change the source for your needs okay so when it opened see the list of the movies available in a theater and the customer could, okay, let me see the synopsis. Let me see, oh, I, if you want to see the trailer. And you don't need to give feed papers or you don't need to give, have some employee give some, uh, some information. The customer could see yourself. Uh, several people come to me and say, Jeff, this physical app is, uh, is a kind of, is an evolution of QR code for some stuff. Might be, you know, you broadcast information about your product, uh, but it, you don't need to go to close and shot a picture, you know. That was the problem of maybe the camera, you know, could be is not so good. You keep, people keep trying, you know, to shut a picture of the QR code. With physical web, you don't have this problem anymore. And uh, the good part of, of a physical app is uh, Edstone is based on Edstone specification. And as Edstone specification is open, we have, uh, we have several implementation different languages. For instance, I, of, uh, besides, uh, you know, like Edstone beacons or any other beacons that we have available in the market, in, instead of, besides of those devices, I can take a Linux machine or a Mac machine or a Windows machine and the machine could broadcast a, a, a Edstone URL. So I can create a totems, you know, with and uh, I can create totems with more sophisticated information or something like that, that uh, it, it, could, it could broadcast a URL. It could broadcast information using Adstone. So uh, I'm going to show you here, for instance, I have here implementation node, but there are some implementations in Java and Python uh, node, I know I don't know if I have a C sharp so far, but I I've, I've seen some guys uh, trying to create the implementation. But so I but one one thing is for I have one hundred percent sure that works in the Raspberry Pi. Uh, I have one Raspberry Pi and I install the package over there and I run my I start to broadcast you know uh, a new URL using I just bought. A small Bluetooth uh, USB dongle uh, that follows uh, 4.0 Bluetooth specification, and then I started to broadcast uh, a new URL. So this is, is the we and the, also we can create unlimited user cases. These are some user cases that people are starting to work with, and one one thing that I I do here for this is a uh, PayPal.me. Uh, if you go to PayPal.me, if you have a, a PayPal account, you can create your own URL. For instance, I have my own URL, PayPal.me slash Jeff Prestes. Anyone can go there, and, and uh, if you like my presentation, if you maybe you cannot give my five stars of review, but you can give me a dollar. I don't know if I prefer, but okay. The, so, uh, and uh, here, in this device here, I mean, Brody Cassidy's URL. So, uh, of course, you can create a web page. So, uh, and also using our dropping component that is for mobile web pages, you can use a dropping and the customer can buy, for instance, in our use case, our demo, 
the customer buy the ticket of his, the movie that he wants to watch and the mobile device. Because I broadcast a web page, they access the web page in a, in a mobile application, and a, sorry, in a mobile, uh, the mobile browser, and there, uh, the, I can uh, make all transactions over there. And what is good, because a lot of people come to me and say, Jeff, is Beacon safe? Okay, if you broadcast a new URL, the, what is the information? Where does the transaction happens? Where are things happens? In your server, in your web, web servers. So of, I hope in your web service is behind a firewall and your application is, it's, uh, well, was very well coded, safe coded. So it's a barrier for threats. So no harm. You're just broadcasting a URL. Nothing else, okay? So this is this, is, this brings security for for your application. You don't need to rely on on Beacon because it's open, so anybody could scan the, the URL. But to make some operation, make something, the customer is doing the, the the transaction on your web server. It's secured. So also with this. With uh, uh, Edstone, you can bring you know security for your beacons operations. Okay, here uh, is going to start our demo. But first, I I, I you need your help, guys. Uh, and I have here some swags, are some uh, USB you know uh, USB pin, uh, some pen drives here, uh, two gigabytes. And I I think I have for. Yeah, I think I have it for everyone. So I invite you guys uh, uh, to install the physical web. This is the URL, but if you go to Play Store now, if you go to your, please ask you using the Wi-Fi of the vent, please go to App Store or go to Play Store and look for physical web. If you type physical web over there, you're going to be able to install it. And who installs? Feel free to come here and, and uh, here in front and get his, his pen drive. Uh, everybody come to me and say, Jeff, does it have virus? Oh, uh, honestly, I don't think so. I, I don't think so, but it wasn't me that you know, made this. But I don't think anybody put a virus on it. But OK, uh, feel free after install, come here and pick one. But please, for our, uh, for our demo, I, I will need that one, sir, please install it. Okay. This guy, that's right. I show you here the, I try to show here the, uh, this is the, now let me show you. Now, are you sure the, uh, just a second, what is my play? Yes, this one, sir. Uh, play, 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 play store. How we take money? Only. Huh? How do we cost money? Oh, here's the link, guys. For so I have it here for for Android, but. It's for free. The idea, it's, it's, it's an open source project, okay? So later, if you want to go to GitHub, you, you're going to see the project uh, code. Feel free to go. Uh, the guy, the, there's an uh, activity community. The guys, the, the community is very nice. If you submit a question or submit, you know, uh, oh, I would like maybe this work this way or another. The guys always answer, you know, your questions or your suggestions. Um, so it's very, it's very good. Okay. So, okay. Now, after you have, uh, you have installed it. I think you should have. Let me see here. You should uh, start. You should see this, my PayPal.me. Am I right? Yep. yep. Okay. So now 
what I'm going to, to do is start to broadcast. Do you remember that my, do you remember my, my idea of a movie theater? I'm going to show you how to broadcast an URL using Node. Let me see, okay, let me, okay, here, um, okay, let me increase the, oops. It's always tricky thing. I'm better, guys. Okay. Are you guys able to read? Okay. So I just, before to show the code, just run the node index.js. Okay, so if everything runs okay, oops, okay, let me, okay, okay, so you see, uh, I don't know, maybe the guys on the back are not able to capture the, the sino, but I'm sure the guys here in front are able to, to capture in the, your devices. Because I'm using what? I'm using my Mac. I'm using the Bluetooth of my Mac to broadcast this URL. Uh, I know it's also in, in a Linux is for new that the, if you have a computer with uh, uh, Bluetooth, 4.0 that supports 4.0 specification, and you're able to do this in Linux, and also in Windows 10, if you're able to do the same. So, uh, what's the idea? Imagine it, you're, I came to the theater, for instance, I said it's nice, you're talking about some guys a little, a little bit more older than I, and they say, oh, okay, I want to see Banger, Banger. and uh, when I open here and I, I push, you see, just go to a web app, up to a, sorry, to a web page. And uh, the Wi-Fi does, if a Wi-Fi don't, doesn't kill me, it's going to open a web page here, okay. Uh, so, but the idea is, okay, you're broadcasting, your, your, your customer, your visitor, whatever, goes to the URL and access the content, okay. Uh, quite easy, huh? That's one something that I love in this. It's simple, easy, but you can escalate, you know, uh, with endless possibility. You see here, okay, now we have the page, and you have here the synopsis, blah, 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 the cartoon, and here, for instance, I can, I have a checkout page. Using the, the brain tree and up, dropping, I can come here, the customer could put the credit card data, and they say, okay, confirm the payment. And after, uh, the, so everything is happening in what? In my server. So it's secure, it's not happening on the customer device. It's happening on the server, okay? And uh, so I don't, I can make a per, uh, you know, money transactions. I can make some more complex stuff and I don't have to be, I don't have to, you know, be, to have a fear of the customer device was stolen or someone broadcast the same URL. Okay, it's going to broadcast, in this case, a movie and uh, no harm. There's no risks, okay? And, uh, okay, why it's working, I'm sorry about my internet connection, my phone, something is happening, so, but, uh, and how, and what is the code? I'm, let me see if, see if I'm able to, oh, no. Okay, profile. Okay, my connection dropped, I'm sorry. Uh, 
Let's do PCD. Okay. Uh, node. Add stone. URL. Okay. And uh, if I my AI works correctly. Oh. Uh, are you able to see the code? Nah, not that good. Okay, let's go to Sublime. Okay, oh, perfect. Uh, let me just adjust the, the size of a phone. Or much better. I'm trying to be a code hero in front of you, but I have here the, oh, much better, okay. So, uh, what, uh, what is it? Uh, you have here, it, they have a, uh, a module called Edstone Beacon. It's available on NPM. You just go there, NPM install Edstone Beacon. And uh, in your application, you see it's quite easy. You just you create the model, create an object. Here you put some options. And the power level that I told you that you want to broadcast, that you want to use. The telemail count, okay. So uh, I broadcast two times the URL. Later I broadcast one TLM information. Uh, and uh, two frames are every 10, of, uh, I'm sorry, for 10 advisements. So okay, I send 10 times the URL Later, I count two, and then I send on TLM uh, information for telemetry. And here I define which URL I'm going to advertise, and done. Nothing more. So if I don't, oh, Jeff, I want to only use the standards. For me, there's no problem. OK, just with three lines of code, you can broadcast, you can broadcast information on your beacon. You can create your own beacon, okay? Oh, Jeff, I, so I can use my, my Raspberry Pi? Yes, you can. I can use, for instance, I can, for, if I want to create a, uh, for instance, I can use Raspberry Pi to create a totem, you know, and put in a mall for, you know, for um, maybe for give information about my project, my product. Yes, you can. You know, so you can create a lot of stuff. But now you can ask me, okay, Jeff, uh, I, I have this, I have how to broadcast, but I want to, how can I detect? How can I, uh, how can I receive the information? Okay, uh, is any Android developer here? Raise hand. Okay, is everybody is more, iOS developer or web developer, right? Okay, because but I I will show you the code in and uh, in, uh, in Java code for Android, but I will tell you the how the logics because it works the same way on on Objective C. The thing is, uh, when you start, you need to here's a, a page that show you start the Bluetooth manager for Android. Okay, you get the resource for from Android. Later, you start, you, in Android, you start a service because in Android, the, the physical app in your Android device, it runs in the back, in a, in a back. And so it doesn't, if the customer closed the app, it, uh, it closed the app, but it keeps running uh, on background, okay? And uh, after this, you start this, the PWO, uh, PWO discovery services, and uh, you start to low energy scan. So you ask for, for your Android device, hey, please scan for me each, the, you know, using Bluetooth low energy, you know, specifications, scan the device that is nearby. And after you start, you know, this, this, and you start to receiving uh, a callback call that here on L, low energy scan, you, you start to receive, you know, the, the, the devices, your mobile, your mobile phone, you know, beacon device, your mobile phone, uh, you know, uh, detected on a region, okay? 
And uh, here, as I told you, uh, the, the headstone, you know, this library is open, or URI Beacon Library, the, the library. So when you start, you parse the data. And here, what you, you, what, what you do, you check if the, the, you check the, you know, the remember the specification of Edgestone URL in the data. Here was a method that decoded the URL for you, okay? Uh, here, get the schema. So it's very detailed. I'm, I think, uh, as I don't have here a lot of Android developers, I don't need to go into the details, but it just implementation, of course, if you go to the, the, the GitHub, you are able to find the, uh, the Objective-C implementation, but the logic is the same, okay? So you see here the network, oops. Here, the table that I show you, the, the URI schemes, and also for the codes. This is for save. You have only a few bytes available. So what the guys did, okay, let's create um, some bytes that, okay, if the byte is two, is HTTP. If the byte is zero, HTTPS, www dot. So it saves, you know, it's for saving, uh, for saving bytes when you are broadcasting data. And uh, okay, so that being said, you have here, and uh, you of course you can get this code, and customize and create your own application because you can say, okay, Jeff, but I want to offer something more than the, the, the standard physical web application. Okay, go there, take the code, and adapt it for your needs. Okay, so. That's, so that's the, uh, I'm really excited. So uh, you can use the, again, you know QR codes anymore. You don't need any more QR codes. With that, you can start to have a remote, you know, remote sales. You can create, for instance, you can put, uh, you know, left some items or some, uh, some products and maybe in a shopping mall and then people can go there, get information. If they want, they can buy, you know, uh, alone. So you don't need to, to have an employee there give information about the project. This is something related because, of course, I work for Brain Trade and PayPal. We are very focused on e commerce. But if you need for other applications, for other situations, feel free to create any solution that you can. It's open. This is what I most like. It's I can, you know, I can create whatever I want. So, guys, uh, that's it. It's quite simple, and um, I'm here for questions. Okay, you? I would, I would love, I would love they have this. I agree with you. I don't know why they don't have this, but I, when I talk to some guys in Google and for Android that I more have some contacts, they don't have plans. Uh, for Apple, only God knows. <laughs> you know, nobody knows. And uh, but I, I, I agree with you. It would be amazing. It would be a lot of people because you see, it's just a very Simple app. Why not come as a standard? You know, I totally agree with you. But I have no answer. Yeah, I, I, I think if you just come, the, the customer could activate. Okay, if it's not a, if people go there and activate something like that, I agree. It's not some privacy. The customer decides the level of privacy he wants. And, uh, uh, other application that I, I forget to mention, but for instance, uh, if you have uh, an Android, uh, and you, if you have an, uh, a wearable, a smartwatch, an Android smartwatch, and this application for Android also sends you a notification. If you want to, if you if it you know, gives your signing, it's, uh, it shows you here, oh, it showed the URL you broadcast, and so do you want to visit them? 
So also, if you, maybe you can interact with your wearables. Uh, I haven't seen yet for, for, for Android. I didn't have, sorry, I haven't seen for Apple Watch yet. But for Android, smartwatch is uh, already available. So you can use it interactive if, uh, with wearables, too. Other questions? OK, guys, uh, this is my contact, my Twitter handle. So uh, it also my, the presentation is going to be there in SlideShare. The code is also available in my GitHub. Uh, if you want to go there and take a look at the code in more details. And uh, any questions, please send a message. Um, thanks for coming. <laughs>